Kia ora, I'm Ovi and welcome back to the channel. Today we are reviewing the Schmincke Liquid Charcoal um, set. So I've got three 5ml tubes here. We've got grapeseed black, cherry pip black and peach stone black. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to try them out with you. Um, I've got the swatch card ready to go. This is just 300 ml. 300 GSM um, paper um, and it's hot press because I was like oh it might show the texture off for this so the tube oh wrong <laughs> wrong spot for tubes here if it wants to focus maybe not um, this is what it kind of says on it it has the peach stone black and it's got on it which I assume means yeah liquid charcoal underneath and yeah it's got some I don't think it has anything else too interesting on it on the tubes yeah that's kind of kind of the gist of it so just a little bit in here I'm assuming it's similar to watercolor and the fact that a little bit goes a long way and I should try to remember what ones and what because I assume they're all gonna look very similar. Cherry pip black. So that's cherry pip. Cherry black. You probably won't be able to see that, but I can see it enough so I know what one's what. <laughs> And the last one is grape. This is my first time using them, which is quite exciting. And I've just got a small little palette here to use it in. And I've sketched out a little drawing to kind of use them all on. So the first one, I'm just going to put water on the paper first. The first... Um one I'll be trying out is the grape seed black so this one I haven't used liquid charcoal before so this is new to me and this um, I'd like to say this is coming straight out of the tube so um, if you let it dry out it might activate or not activate differently. Um, first impressions, grape seed black is a cool black. Um, well, it's got a cool tone, undertone to it. I like cool blacks though. So, oh, and this is a warm tone black. <laughs> Good to know. Um, and you can definitely see the charcoal bits in it, like little dots of the charcoal very warm black that one cherry and we've got peach ooh I wasn't expecting this I feel like this is quite neutral maybe slightly to the cooler side but a very neutral one black either way. These get quite dark um, which is really nice and then they lighten out quite nicely as well. So those are the three swatched out. I'll bring it up to the camera. I already ripped it with my painter's tape. It was quite tragic really. <laughs> um, it said low tech painter's tape this tape but it oh 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 it was like not today. Um, so this is them kind of up close. We've got the all of them kind of if you can see. Clearly still not to dry. Um, but yeah, we'll just do a very quick. Sketch. Just got 
sort of portrait I drew up before. And yeah, if I get my reference image up. Um, maybe, do I, oh, I have the warm grey. Yeah, so the main thing to note with this is that I'm using them straight from the tube. I haven't dried any of it out, so yeah, it would definitely, it, paints tend to, you know, be more pigmented um, straight from the tube, so. Oh, I don't think I used shape. <laughs> like, what grey did I use? And yeah, they're different to watercolours in that they have the texture of the charcoal um, in the paint. Like, which is different from granulating, which just leaves behind a texture and it sinks into the page. This is just like texture from the charcoal. Oh, shoot, that's dark. I don't know if you can tell, but that is extremely dark there. Shoot. And that was darker than I was expecting. <laughs> and then we'll change it up by using the grapeseed for the top. I'm sorry if you can hear music in the background. Um, some randos playing their music really loudly, which is not surprising. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been wanting to get this small set of um, Trinkers liquid charcoal for a while, um, just to try it out and stuff. Because it was it piqued my interest. I was like, ooh, liquid charcoal, because I like watercolor and stuff. But, but I was like, what would it be like to um? Use liquid charcoal, like, how is it different, kind of thing. It's very similar, it just, yeah, you can see the texture. And it does granulate slightly, as you can see, kind of down here. Um, which is really nice, actually. I do like, <laughs> I like the degranulation. Um, I still have yet to do my Schmincke super granulating videos. That will not be until the end of the year, at least. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, no, it, it can get quite a nice variety of greys, which, you know, charcoal does that anyway, but um, I think it's different in the way that it, it's it got the texture of watercolour and stuff, um, because, you know, it's liquid, in liquid form. But also, it, it's just, it goes further, I feel like it lasts much longer than, you know, a stick of charcoal. Um, because of the fact, you know, you just add a bit of water and you can get all the different greys and stuff and darker. As you, as the hat shows, you can get quite dark, um, colours with the charcoal, which is really nice. And I am a fan of the granulation, especially in the grapeseed one. The others do it too, but <laughs> the grapeseed one's the one that's showed it the most. I'm looking at the swatch card just off in the distance there, and they definitely all do granulate as well as have the texture of the um, charcoal, which is really cool. I'll pause and I'll get back to you when I have finished. So I've finished. Um, ish. <laughs> I kind of got a little distracted and I'm just doing some little doodles here and there on the paper just to keep testing it out. Um, I have found they lift really easily. Um, if you 
need that or want that or are curious about that they do lift really well um yeah i love the texture they leave behind on the paper it's very unique um it's yeah granulating as well as kind of more to that <laughs> and i do love the different shades of grey. I was worried that they were going to be similar greys. Like I saw on the website, I was like, okay, they don't look to be the same type of charcoal, liquid charcoal. But I wasn't too sure, so I'm happy to see and say that they are all very different shades of greys, um, which is really cool. And yeah, I really enjoyed working with them. Um, here's a kind of close up of my bint as you can see in the hat it's extremely dark you can get really dark darks with this um and yeah it's really nice sorry about that tinge of blue it's i'll actually take it off my little stand and give you a little bit more of a closer up i don't know if my camera is doing the different shades justice I'll also show you the different swatches. Yes, you can see there's a granulation in all of them. And yeah, overall, they're really fun to use. I definitely like how they have five milliliter tubes that you can get all together. It's really nice because I didn't want to commit to one 15 milliliter tube, especially if I haven't used this kind of paint before. And it means I can test out what kind of um, charcoal, liquid charcoal colours of grey I actually like using in my work. Um, I guess the next test would be to try it with watercolour to see how they mix together and stuff. And what I'm seeing right now, if I can get the right angle, is that they dry interestingly as well. And yeah, all those little scattered bits um, are either bits of the charcoal or yeah, the granulation they're leaving behind. So yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting been fun to use and yeah thanks for coming along and trying it like seeing me try it out for the first time hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one